Hello family, friends and fans, as promised, here is the Lightbox video, finally. A little about me, I am a miniaturist and artist. Last year I opened up my business, JK Dolls, and right before Christmas a friend of mine suggested that I invest in a Lightbox. Had no idea what that was. I went online, so much information on Google and YouTube. I said, you know something, I'm going to make one. The results really helped my business quite a, quite a lot. By no means am I an expert in light boxes, but I do understand the formula and that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys in this video, plus the adjustment that I made to the formula that you can have an exchangeable backdrop. That was so much fun. And um, so a lot of different businesses can use the light box. If you're a hospital or doctor's office, you probably use it to display x-rays. If you're an artist, you'd probably use it to transfer images. Today, we're going to be doing, it's the advertising aspect of the, of, the, of the light box. So for someone who wants to display a specific product or art piece, and that's what the kind of light box that we're going to be doing today. The result should be a nice, crisp, clean picture uh, taken um, by putting your product or image um, inside the light box and taking beautiful pictures. So let's get started. So what is a light box? Your light box is a display panel that is illuminated, usually with a fluorescent or LED light. Your side panels and top panel are made with a diffusing material, uh, typically a white translucent fabric, paper, or glass. And the purpose of that is to place your object inside the panel and illuminate it and your result will be a nice, clean, fresh, shadow-free, crease-free, professional picture. So we're gonna recreate the light box today. And we're going to recreate it smaller. Sorry, <laughs> I just bumped into the camera. So we're gonna recreate it smaller. And we're gonna be using cardboard, but I wanna say this. Um, you don't have to use cardboard if you're doing a DIY for a light box. I know there are a lot of cardboard um, videos out there, but there are other options. Now, this is an option. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm sure someone's going to do it. Um, I'm probably going to do one soon as well. And it's using corrugated plastic. This corrugated plastic here, it's super durable, easy to clean. And basically, if you are doing a project outside, this is a waterproof surface. And so you could potentially have a waterproof, you can make yourself even a waterproof light box using the same exact formula. So um, let's talk about some of the things that you're going to need really quickly. You need your two lamps. I'm using this because since I work with a lot of miniatures, I don't need to make a humongous light box with humongous lamps. You're also going to need something for that middle panel. So there we use poster board. Today, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that I want to use poster board. I've been exploring the idea of maybe using this foam sheet. It's super flexible. And I was also thinking I had foam core. It was blue. I took off the top layer, this paper. I just took it off. In doing so, I have this now. Now, it's a lot more firm than the foam and then the poster board, but I think you can make it work because it still is pretty flexible. Um, and without the paper, it's way more flexible. So this is like the core of the foam core just the middle part without the paper on the outside. And um, I think I think it would work well as the middle panel there instead of the poster board. I haven't tried it yet, but I, I think it's worth a try. And there's also this paper, which typically I use this for dollhouses. So this would be like that stucco look for the walls. Um, you can use this on the exterior or interior for the for your dollhouses, um, for your wallpaper. It could even be used as a ground, uh, as a 
flooring surface as well and paint it whatever color you want but anyways that's a different uh, video <laughs> but for the purpose of this this is also a nice flexible piece of paper and if you wanted to experiment with different um, backdrops um, this is another option to experiment with so I'm not entirely sure which one I'm going to use today. I'm going to go with the flow, but I have those options. And then again, for your side panels, here we used tissue. Um, you can also use fabric. Now the fabric that I have at my disposal today is Jersey Knit. It's a Jersey Knit white fabric, but as you can see, it's translucent. So it's going to make for a great fabric for this project. And let's get started you're going to also need your box cutter some tape a ruler a pencil maybe some scissors i always bring my exacto knife because you never know and in case i decided to paint the uh light box i'm going to use gesso the thing about this is that I don't like the idea of the light box having any of this uh, cardboard brown in it. If I can make it all white, then um, I think I'll be really happy. Um, also, you're gonna need LED lights for your lamps. So I'm using these uh, Eco, Eco Smart um, soft white LED light bulbs, but you guys should have both either fluorescent or both lead. So let's get started. I'm gonna measure these panels here. I still haven't measured them, so I'm doing this with you guys. So this will be one of our panels. It's measured at about six. It's almost six. And this one is a full six. I'm going to be making six inch side panels and 12, so six inches high, six inches deep, and 12 inches wide. Okay, 12 inches wide. So let's work on that. I decided to use the foam core as the foundation to the light box. So this is going to be the length. The, sorry, the width. Attach this to this. But for this one, since it's small, I don't think that, um, definitely not one inch. And I don't even think I want to do half an inch. I think I want to do for this panel because it's a lot smaller. I think I want to do a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to measure it at a quarter of an inch. problematic one because it has a crease in it so I am gonna reinforce it with another one of these 
Let's see. So this, I measured it for 12. Okay guys, I have completed the light box, the framework, and I don't know if you noticed, but there is a gap here that I decided to make, and it's going to be so that you can adjust your backdrop whenever you want. So if you have a fun, cool, and by the way, I haven't seen this if i if if there is a video um with this kind of um slit on the back of the light box i haven't seen it yet um i'm sure there's because i there's like hundreds of them so i'm not saying that there isn't i'm just saying i haven't seen it yet but i i i know with me um with the kind of personality that i have and the kind of projects that i have i like to do I like to be able to do different things. So I like the idea of having the option to take out, so this is the foam. I like the idea of having the option to take out my backdrop whenever I like and exchange it for something else. And like I said before, I wasn't sure if I wanted to use the foam or if I wanted to use this kind of like stucco-like um, paper. It would be nice to have the option for um, different things and maybe one day you want a background that's not white I don't know maybe you want it black maybe you want your background to have um, certain patterns images whatever it is you can now control your background so I thought having this little slit here would be cool let's try it with this one I mean, guys, it's literally, I'm not going to say perfect, but it's literally perfect. There, I said. And here's another cool thing. You can also use, well, I haven't cut it to size, but... I mean, you're going to be able to create a lot of different effects since it's not permanent and it's easy to change. You can stretch it out with the fabric the way you normally would, or you can kind of like have it draped on purpose if you wanted to have lines, have like a dramatic, a dramatic effect. I'm gonna cut out this fabric for the um, side and top panel. <laughs> put in the side panels as you can see the fabric is secure and what I used I didn't show you this earlier I used fabric glue this is actually liquid stitch and when making my dolls clothes and stuff sometimes you need like something instead of sewn you need it glued I felt like the glue would be great to kind of reinforce cardboard a little bit kind of stiffen it up make a secure uh, Placing for the fabric. After I glued it, I then taped over it. So I think the tape and the glue are gonna work together. And now this is my strip for the top. <laughs> Do, I'm going to put some double sided tape underneath this, right about here, and I'm going to... and that should do it. 
this model that I put here, he is too tall to be pictured standing, but resting, he's fine. Guys, you're going down, lowering my tripod, so you guys can get a much better view of our model. And this is one of my dolls, one of my first dolls, actually. So now you can kind of get a view of what's going on here. And so I can do whatever I want with these lights depending on what I'm going for. Now I got this one. Kind of got this one overhead right now. And you can have three, four lights. You can have a spotlight on top, one in the front. I mean, ideally you should. Um, right now I'm only working with two lights and um, I'm gonna take a couple of pictures and we're gonna see how it comes out. I just wanna do a quick backdrop change. Look at how fast that was. So, quick backdrop change. Might even be able to use the same double sided tape. Well, he's not as sturdy right now because of the change in surface, but he's good. Now, my dolls are super posable, so you can kind of adjust them as you wish. But that looks amazing. <laughs> And now I'm gonna take some pictures and you guys are gonna see. And that's basically it. That's your light box. Look at this. You have so many possibilities. You adjust, you move your box around. And, but like I said, if you wanna do this same exact thing, but with waterproof materials for when you're going outside and going to the park, maybe you wanna capture a beautiful flower from mother nature or whatever, you can make it with this corrugated plastic. It's going to take muscle, but I think with your craft knife or box cutter, you'll be able to do it just fine. And that's that. There he is. He's got the cool pose. He's just chilling like a villain, minding his own business. Well, not really, he's posing for a picture. So let me show you how that comes out. And now for a little bit of fun, my light box inside of a light box. So guys, that's pretty much it. If you want to make your own light box, I'm going to put a couple of different links that were helpful to me in the description box. Also remember you can do any size, just measure your project and accordingly you can fit your light box to be as big as or as small as you would like. They all work as long as you follow the same principle. You have your panels, your backdrop, and your lights. Again, an experiment and explore with different materials, backdrops, and have fun with it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and thanks again for watching.